And here's a great Gardening Gourmets gardening tip. We use companion planting in our edible garden. It's a simple, organic, and eco-friendly way to eliminate toxic chemicals in your garden and from the food you grow. Some combinations work because they help their partner grow better or produce more produce, while others use their scents to repel insects or attract good bugs such as pollinators. Onions are like garden terminators. We planted strawberries in the onion bed because they help repel major enemies of strawberries including aphids, weevils, mites, and nematodes. And every good chef knows that onions are a key ingredient in cooking many dishes. Up next, from our garden, I'll be using strawberries, shallots, and Thai basil to make a tasty vinaigrette. Every night, David goes out in the garden and picks his fresh herbs and vegetables, and he just whips up a meal just out of his head, just like that. And it's really like eating in a five-star restaurant every night. Today from our garden, we're using strawberries and honey to make a three-course meal. First, we're going to start with a strawberry Thai basil balsamic vinaigrette over mixed greens garnish with heirloom tomatoes from our garden. Then we're gonna have a strawberry rhubarb compote over roasted duck. To finish off, we're gonna have a lavender honey creme brulee with chocolate dipped strawberries. So let's get started. So we're gonna saute off and sweat off a little bit of shallots. About a teaspoon of shallots. So here we're making our compote, strawberry rhubarb compote. So we sweat off our onions a little bit. We're going to add a little bit of rhubarb, about a cup. We're going to sweat that off with the shallots. Let's get started on our Thai basil balsamic vinaigrette. About four or five leaves of the Thai basil. We're going to chop those up fine. that into our mixing bowl. We get some strawberries. A half a cup of strawberries. We also have some strawberry puree here that we pureed. We're going to use some shallots in that dressing as well. About a teaspoon of shallots. Teaspoon of Dijon mustard. You can use about a half a cup of balsamic vinegar. We've got uh, some honey, about a teaspoon of honey. We're going to take our burr blender. We're mixing that up, then we're going to emulsify in. You have to add slowly your oil. quarter cup of olive oil. We're going to add a little bit of vegetable oil as well. We don't want it too strong with the olive oil. We're going to season that with salt and pepper. Get some cracked black pepper here. And today we're using some pink Himalayan sea salt. This is called the salt of the gods. So our rhubarb is cooking and sweating off. Just trying to soften that up a bit. We're going to add our strawberries. Maybe about a cup. Okay, a zest of half an orange. Get out of a half a cup of port wine. And of course, our honey. About a tablespoon of honey. We're going to set that aside and let that reduce down. So we got our mixed greens. 
picked from the garden, so I'm going to pick those today. We crisped those up in the fridge, washed them, and put them in the refrigerator so they'll crisp up. We've got our heirloom cherry tomatoes. We've got some yellows, some reds. We've got our strawberries for garnish. And we're also going to put some pine nuts in there. And out of our vinaigrette. Toss our salad lightly. We want to get some height on a salad. We don't want it flat. We want the colors to come out in our tomatoes, so we're going to put those on the top as well as the strawberries. I'm going to garnish out with a couple chives from the garden. And since we use the Thai basil, we're going to garnish out with some Thai basil as well. Okay, it's a strawberry Thai basil balsamic vinaigrette. We've got a half a cup of strawberries, four or five Thai basil leaves, two tablespoons of honey, half a shallot, one teaspoon of Dijon mustard, two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar, a quarter cup of canola oil, and a quarter cup of olive oil. As well here we've got our lavender honey creme brulees that have just finished up in our double boiler. We're going to set those aside to cool. And let's get started searing some duck breasts. Got a very hot pan. We're just seasoning it with salt and pepper on the skin side. We're searing it breast side down to start with, just to sear in the juices. Then we're going to finish cooking those on the skin so the skin crisps up. Okay, we're going to finish up our creme brulee. Just a little tip if your brown sugar is getting hard, put a little piece of bread in a sealed container and it'll soften it up. We're just going to caramelize that sugar. We're going to garnish out with a chocolate covered strawberry and a piece of fresh mint. There, strawberry and rhubarb compote. We've got two cups of rhubarb, two cups of strawberries, a quarter cup of honey, a quarter cup of port, one shallot diced, a zest of half an orange, a nib of butter to saute off your shallots. The cook time on that's about 10 minutes. Next time on The Garden Gourmets, we're talking tomatoes. Everything from beefsteak to heirloom, tomatoes in pots, hanging upside down, and even climbing a trellis. I'll show you how to make a no-cook pasta sauce and a spicy salsa. Check out our website for more great gardening tips and all our gourmet recipes. Until next time, bon, bon appétit. appétit. Ha <laughs> ha.